Thank you, Brenda. Now, we are, uh, we will notice that there are some people here who have letters. They're holding letters that spell out, bring Abdul Razak home. And these uh, people uh, who are holding these letters have uh, taken matters into their own hands to bring Abdul Razak home. They have all contributed to a plane ticket fund to pay for uh, Abdul Razak to come home. Each person risking 10 years in jail for doing this. They are part of 225 Canadians all across the country who have taken matters into their own hands to bring a citizen home. So we're going to hear briefly from uh, each of these letter holders if they could just say their name and one sentence why you're holding this letter, why did you contribute to this? Uh, when you come to make your announcement, come right up underneath the passport here and, and get your passport photo taken. And get your passport photo taken. <laughs> All right, so Mac. Mac is first. Thank you. Uh, I'd also like to extend uh, solidarity greetings from No One Is Illegal Toronto. We're really in support of this, and I'm a member of No One Is Illegal. Uh, my name's Mac Scott, and I think it was the best $20 I ever spent and that uh, this is a situation where the racism, the hysteria, the anti-Muslim uh, attacks post 9-11 have kicked in and are still kicking in, and I think by, by bringing him home, we are helping to fight back against that. Thank you. Hi, my name is Moira Gracie. I'm a lawyer in North York. Um, I do some work at the Inter-American Commission of Human Rights, and we are essentially exiling a citizen here. Um, I don't know a whole lot about Abdul Razik, Mr. Abdul Razik. Uh, but I know he's a Canadian citizen, and I know that it's wrong for the Canadian government to do this to any citizen. If they can do it to him, they can do it to me. Hello, I'm Stephen Van Beek, and uh, I was very happy to contribute to this fund. And obviously, you can see the interesting logic of this. We're all Canadians and citizens. If we all want ourselves to be sued by the Canadian government by giving even a buck to this fund, we'll have a whole lot of money to oppose them, won't we? And that'll help stop this bullshit of the current regime, I can't even call it a government. And let's see our joint strength being bring Abel Razak home. It's great to see wonderful supporters here. Thank you very much. My name is Andrea Siemens, and I am a citizen who was born abroad. I came to Canada 30 years ago, and whether or not, um, when I came to Canada, I became part of what I consider my Canadian family. And Abdul Razak is part of that family, and I'd like him returned home to have the same protection that I have, which is the most fundamental protection in my Canadian citizenship, is the internationally recognized right to return home. My name is Peter Marmerick. My parents and my grandparents left Germany and Austria when Adolf Hitler decided there were two classes of Germans separated by religion and race. They didn't come to Canada so that Stephen Harper could decide there were two classes of Canadians separated by race and religion. Thank you. My name is Melissa Williams. I'm a professor at the University of Toronto. And like a professor, I'm going to quote a philosopher, Hannah Arendt, who said succinctly, citizenship is the right to have rights. Mr. Abdurazik's rights as a citizen and his rights to, 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 be, to have his, his other fundamental human rights respected uh, are, are being denied. And as a citizen who cares about democracy, the rule of law, and human rights, I felt it was important to do my small part. My name is Terry Walker, and I'm here because I believe that my rights as a citizen are in jeopardy. They're in jeopardy because Mr. Abdurazik, a citizen's rights, are being denied. I believe that it's my obligation as a citizen to be here because the current government is breaking the law. My name is Allison Murray. Um, I contributed to the fund and I'm here today for simple reasons. It appalls me that our government has the power to do this to anyone, all while claiming to uphold human rights. I also want Abu Sufyan to know that we support him and that the government's actions don't represent the views of most. My name is Nadeem Laoji from Kitchener and um, I supported this campaign initially because I was disturbed by the poor response of our government. Uh, when the government reneged on their pledge, uh, I was really upset and I was also shocked as well. Um, that's why I continue to be involved in this campaign. My name is Pasco Murphy. 
Considering the, what they have done to Mr. Abdel Razak, this conservative government apparently believes that referring to someone as a terrorist, even if they are not one, is all the justification they need to deny somebody their fundamental rights. I am more than embarrassed by this government. I am outraged. I'm Glinda the Good Witch, also known as Beth Guthrie from uh, People for Peace in London. Uh, I, uh, I support um, all of the other donors to Mr. Abdul Razak's ticket because I really believe that we need to bring Canadian citizens home to Canada. It's outrageous. My name is Margaret Sumert. I came here as an immigrant 30 years ago. I've never had any barriers to my ability to move in and out of the country. I'm married into a Muslim family. I'm a member of the Bathurst Street United Church, which has also supported this stand to bring Mr. Abdul Razak back to Canada. He has the right to be supported by and to support his family. My name is Brian Monrad. When I went to grade school in Etobicoke, they taught us a poem about Nazi Germany. It goes like this. In Germany, they came first for the communists, and I didn't speak up because I wasn't a communist. And then they came for the trade unionists, and I didn't speak up because I wasn't a trade unionist. And then they came for the Jews, and I didn't speak up because I wasn't a Jew. And then, then they came for me, and by that time, there was no one left to speak up. Stephen Harper went to the same grade schools in Etobicoke. He obviously didn't learn his civics lessons. Thank you. My name is Albert Breton, a professor from the University of Toronto. I participated and I participate in this event today because I think that when you make a promise repeatedly, promises repeatedly, and you renege on them, you're really engaged in a policy of cruelty. And we have a very cruel government. My name is Margot Breton. I'm an emerita professor of social work. Lyons, and Glinda is here. And uh, since uh, I'm on my way to Oz to get a heart, my message to uh, Minister Cannon and the Prime Minister and uh, our government is, get a heart. My name is Sarah Shepard. And I believe it's deeply wrong to deny someone the right to live in their own home. And it's even more wrong not to tell someone why they are being treated in the harsh and unjust way they're being treated. That's what deeply disturbs and outrages me about this situation. And I believe that when we dehumanize any person in that way, we dehumanize all of ourselves. We're all interconnected and need to always remember that and always work for that. I don't have one of those letters, but I contributed to the fund, and I guess I represent all those other hundreds of people who contributed to the fund to bring Abdel Razik home. My name is Fiona McCall, and in 1983 to 88, I sailed around the world with my two kids, with my Canadian passport. What if we had got into trouble? Would I, my husband, and my two kids have been stranded out there with no help from the Canadian government? Shame on you, Stephen Harper. Crichton Harris. Um, my husband, John Sanders, a professor emeritus U of T, and I sent money for this ticket, which, as we know, didn't happen. I just want to say how appalled we are and how very distressed and embarrassed. My name is Matthew Behrens, and I'm very proud to have been one of the hundreds of people across Canada who have defied what can only be described as a dictatorial power, a power which does not deserve respect or our consent. And if days like today are not going to bring Mr. Abdel Razak home, I think that calls on all of us to look at the kinds of nonviolent tactics that we can escalate to bring him home. And if they're not going to throw us in jail for buying the ticket, Many of us might want to start considering the kind of Gandhian tactics and civil rights tactics that will nonetheless land us in jail, because if the government does not represent the people, the people have to interfere with that government until such time 
as it respects the laws that it asks all of us to uphold. Among those people on the list are Stephen Lewis, former UN envoy to Africa for AIDS, as well as David Suzuki and many, many more. And we hope that you will all add your names to this list. Thank you.